In here I have some steak, the thin steak of uh, Milanese. Already cut, spiced and seasoned. I have some diced tomatoes with green chilies here. I have a fog problem. <laughs> Now I have a half of, uh, maybe a third of an onion sliced up here and a little bit of that juice from the tomatoes. And I'm getting ready to, well I have added the beef. And I have some rice already in the pot. And for some reason I can't find my spoon, but... Oh, see it. Okay. We're just going to brown this up really quickly because it really cooks quickly. They don't take long to thaw. It was about two large size steaks. And the little ones are actually not having steak, they're having something else, so it's not a lot um, that I had to do for them. Alright, so I will be back in just a minute. I need to get the next ingredient out. Making, I'm making dinner. So I have just added my tomatoes. You can add tomato paste if you choose. I am not really a huge fan of tomatoes, but because I know the health benefits, I use them and I'm more likely to use a diced tomato. So that it's not so tomatoey. <laughs> if that makes sense. So now I have some spinach. You can use fresh. I don't have any fresh at the moment, but usually I use fresh. So for this size, I'm just going to take and start delving into this bag. So far, so guys. Right, so <laughs> I put the camera down, but I added whole bag. I love spinach, and I did just say fresh or frozen. I forgot can. Can works just as well. Do you. Whatever works, works. I keep a mixture of everything because I never know. I love fresh, but sometimes that is not an option. So, so yeah, I love spinach, so you, um, according to your taste, and your like but this is beef and spinach and that is what this dish is so. and you just want to let this cook down it is on high because the meat pretty much is already cooked and you just need the spinach to cook down you might want to give it a little taste and see if it is season to your liking at this point and um, you know pretty much add whatever you you like there's no hard and fast uh, 
seasoning. Which is why I pretty much use the um, the mixture because it has everything in it. That has paprika, oregano, some onion, garlic, parsley, and um, that's pretty much what I wanted to uh, do. bothering you. So anywho, I just added another light sprinkle. But that's it. This is just going to cook down for another few minutes and it will be done and I will come back once it is um, plated. I'll just kind of show you all what it looks like. That is Dinner. I don't want this guy will come and get me. Alright guys. Sorry about that speed, but just be be mindful of your juices though. You want a little bit of juice, so if you need to um, if you're just using the diced tomatoes. You may need to add a little bit of water to it so that it's not just totally sticking. You see, you want some, some liquid in there. But if you are using a paste or a sauce, uh, you're going to have a little more liquid, and that's, that's completely fine. Of course, if you use a paste, you'll have to add some, uh, some water to it. And you could do a broth. I prefer not to do a beef broth. But you could totally do a beef broth with it if you want. No, no, don't Thumbs up, subscribe, and hope you guys enjoy the recipe. So I'm going to let this cook and we will have our dinner. I need to finish making the rest of the kids' dinner and the little one's dinner. And I will see you all tomorrow and in the comments. Bye.